Bitcoin is being tested, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, the whole markets are being tested right now. Stocks are being tested. Cryptos are being tested. The currency market's being tested. Dollars popping off a little bit. So things are looking a little bit defensive right now. You can see it in, the, in these BTC charts. So we're going to look at the BTC chart and stay tuned for our top moving coins of the day. We'll do those shortly. All right, so BTC, after testing the 71,455, rolling over here a little bit, and yesterday wasn't too bad of a day, although we, we did move lower. Uh, nothing too bad, though. Volume was about equal with the prior day, although lower, so that's important. Um, today, we'll see how today goes. Today's volume looks looks okay. It does look a little bit lower than yesterday's, which would be good. We want volume to remain low. Ideally, we will hold this type of a, of a flag pattern that we formed. The 50-day moving average is right here. So uh, this is kind of where the rubber hits the road. This is kind of the, the third time this has attempted to go lower now. If this holds, hopefully we'll get healthy and start to go up. But things are starting to roll over a little bit on some tokens. Uh, let's, let's take a look around at some of these coins of the day here. Bitcoin Cash rolling over down about almost 10%, 9.3% here rolling over let's see if we find support here at this orange 21 day moving average that would be good if we can get support there build a structure up here of some kind when things look like they're they're rolling over dxy goes up stock markets look like they want to start correcting you sometimes get these overarching corrections because cryptocurrencies are a little bit more mainstream now than they were several years ago and so we're in a situation where everything is interplaying a little bit more and you're starting to see that because just last week, right, everything was holding higher. Bitcoin was holding higher. Uh, we saw the stock market holding higher. And then now they're all rolling over, okay? So Bitcoin Cash rolling over here. Let's see if, if these supports that are getting tested hold. That's a main key. And then APT, which is a big mover today, unfortunately, to the downside. There's not too many big upside movers today. To the downside, we've got APT coming down to test this long-term support of this entire run. Fortunately, the volume isn't super heavy, although it's also not light. You can see today we're already above average volume, even though average volume has been declining. Uh, we'll probably go over and meet volume-wise with these sell candles over here. And so from that perspective, uh, it needs to hold the support, and then we can form some kind of structure down here. Maybe we'll, we'll bounce off of support. Maybe it's looking weak, but support will step in. That's what you're looking for right now. Will support step in? And then uh, a new one I haven't heard of is WIF. WIF. This one's down pretty big today. Now, this one's already had a pretty decent run, a lower high right here. This one also consolidating. There's really not, not a lot going on here. Not too many, not too many trades based off of this name. But these were the two biggest percentage movers uh, of the day today that aren't complete garbage crap coins. So. But that's it, guys. We are consolidating. We need to see what this market's going to do. Uh, if you wanted to short the market, if you already had that bias, I hope you shorted it up here. If you want to short on the breakdown, you want to wait for the breakdown to short. You don't want to. You don't want to short it right now because you're 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 still too much in the middle of the range. You want to wait for the signal to trigger, which it has not done yet, and it will do so on this daily time frame by breaking this upward sloping trend line, 50-day moving average, or this other upward sloping trend line. Uh, from way back down here at 38,000. So that's it, guys. That's all I got for you. Markets are being tested. Let's see how they react. If they don't react well, uh, we definitely could be in a situation where the markets do start to correct even deeper. And uh, we'll see if that happens tomorrow on Allcoin Best Trading.